Excellency, Madame Co-Chair, dear ministers and colleagues, before we start our meeting today, may I now invite all your Excellency head of delegation to come to the stage for a group photo opportunity, our traditional photo opportunity. So may I now call the meeting to order. The um, provisional agenda has already been circulated to all of you. Do you have any comment? If not, the agenda is so adopted. Thank you. To begin with agenda item one, allow me to deliver my opening remarks. Excellency Kong Kyung Hwa and my esteemed co-chair, distinguished ASEAN colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, on behalf of my ASEAN colleagues, let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to Her Excellency Kang Kyung Hwa for your appointment as the first female foreign minister of the Republic of Korea. Indeed, it is my honor to co-chair with you this important ASEAN post-ministerial conference 10 plus 1 session with the Republic of Korea in my current capacity as country coordinator for ASEAN ROK dialogue relation. I take this opportunity to reaffirm ASEAN readiness to work closely with the new administration of President Moon Jae-in with the aim of further strengthening and elevating ASEAN ROK strategic partnership to a new height so that we can tackle together and more efficiently regional and global issues of common concerns. I look forward to our frank discussion in the closed session at which time I am keen to hear of new initiatives you may have, Madam Co-Chair, to advance our mutually beneficial ASEAN ROK cooperation. Madam Co-Chair, dear colleagues, ASEAN is very pleased with the progress of our cooperation with the ROK in many areas covering from the sensitive political and security areas to trade and investment, culture, arts, and people-to-people -people exchange. It is indeed quite obvious that the Republic of Korea has contributed in a very significant way to the maintenance of and promotion of regional peace and its share economic development and prosperity. Moreover, we appreciate Republic of Korea's steady support for ASEAN unity and centrality in this fast changing regional architecture through the various ASEAN led processes in particular, the ASEAN Plus One, the ASEAN Plus Three, the East Asia Summit, the ASEAN Regional Forum, and the ASEAN Defense Minister Meeting Plus. On the economic front, we are keen to see the conclusion of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, as it will make a great impact on our ASEAN integration process and connectivity, 
and ultimately on our ASEAN community building. Indeed, we can build on the momentum generated from the implementation of the ASEAN-Korea Free Trade Agreement, and I am sure that we are conscious of the importance of our common need to further promote the development of micro, small, medium enterprises and the engagement of the private sector as a whole as we strive together to achieve our ambitious two-way trade target of 200 billion US dollars by 2020. Madam Co-Chair, dear colleagues, this year is a meaningful year for our ASEAN ROK dialogue relation. The celebration of the ASEAN ROK cultural exchange year coincides nicely with our ASEAN 50th anniversary. Next month, we will also launch together the ASEAN Cultural House in Busan. All these mark significant milestones in our dialogue relation, and we should provide us, and they should provide us with all the necessary positive strength and energy to further deepen our cooperation and chart our future strategic partnership direction for the coming years and decades. I thank you. Now may I invite my esteemed co-chair, Her Excellency Kang kyung Wa, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Korea, to deliver her opening remarks. The floor is yours, Madam. Thank you very much, Mr. Co-Chair. Mr. Co-Chair, Your Excellency Prak Sokorn, thank you so much for your warm words of congratulations and welcome in my new role as Foreign Minister of the Republic of Korea. I am truly heartened and I am affirmed of the close collaboration that we will enjoy in the years to come. Mr. Co-Chair, fellow ministers and representatives from ASEAN, it is indeed a great pleasure for me to attend today's meeting. To start with, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Minister Arlen Kayetano for the outstanding arrangements made for this meeting. I would also like to thank Minister Praxo Korn and his colleagues for the excellent leadership as the country coordinator for the ASEAN ROK relations. On a personal note, it is indeed an honor and privilege for me to attend this meeting as this year marks the 50th anniversary of ASEAN. I greatly enjoyed working with ASEAN when I was at the United Nations and I have many wonderful memories. And it's wonderful to see some of the colleagues that I've worked with at the ASEAN Secretariat here. Building upon my experience at the United Nations, let me assure you that as Foreign Minister of the Republic of Korea, I will do my very best to further enhance and strengthen the ASEAN ROK relations. My government is committed to expanding our diplomatic horizon and reaching out to diverse partners and we regard ASEAN as a key partner in this endeavor. Our commitment in this regard should be clear. Promptly after being sworn in, President Moon Jae-in took the unprecedented step of sending a special envoy to ASEAN. He reiterated the importance of ASEAN ROK relations by saying, and I quote him directly, ASEAN is as important as our immediate neighbors around the peninsula in Korea's external relations." Unquote. My government indeed seeks to strengthen our ties with ASEAN in three directions. First, to pursue mutual prosperity that is sustainable. Second, to increase people-driven two-way exchanges. And third, to join hands to build a new East Asia that is peaceful and safe. In translating this aspiration into reality, we should continue to carry out the plan of action to implement the Joint Declaration on ASEAN ROK Strategic Partnership for Peace and Prosperity for the year 2016-2020. And we count on ASEAN's undivided support and collaboration in this process. And I do hope that we will be able to join our heads and minds to together today to boost the ASEAN ROK relations into the future. Thank you very much. I thank you, Madam, for your very meaningful opening remarks.